Hi everyone, I want to talk to you today about sugar consumption in drinks. This is a question that we get a lot, sometimes online. People ask this question, you know, is this product or that product good or bad or healthy or unhealthy for my teeth? And so that's what we want to talk about today. We want to talk about sugar and some specific drinks here, but also about the acidity that that creates in your mouth. So we have displayed here for you some common drinks or beverages um, that sometimes people like. I mean, I have been known to do one or several of these. And so uh, we've got them arrayed everywhere from, you know, the most amount of sugar, at least on, in this display, to least amount of sugar. This product here has, in this container, has 65 grams of sugar. That's what this, that's 65 grams of sugar. This product, 55, it's not per serving, but it's in this container. And to tell you the truth, I have a son and he's not measuring out one serving size out of this container and drinking it, right? He's drinking, he's downing the whole thing. So that's what we're talking about. 55 grams in this, 54, 51, 46, 27 grams of sugar. That's what we're talking about. You might as well just like mix some water in here and just drink that, you're getting the same effect on your teeth. So the science behind what sugar does to your teeth, let's talk about that for a second. Everybody or almost everybody has the bacteria in your mouth that cause cavities. The reason those bacteria cause cavities is because they feed on the sugar that we eat. Anything that has a lot of sugar, simple sugars especially like these products here, the bacteria in your mouth they love that. So they're going to eat the sugar that we eat and then they produce as a byproduct acid. They, they create an acid as a byproduct or basically they poop acid as a result of eating sugar. And it's that acid that creates the environment that is ripe for causing cavities. The other thing that will cause cavities besides sugar is you can bypass that whole bacteria creating acid loop. And if you're ingesting food or drink that is acidic, then you're getting the same effect. Normally our oral cavity lives in like this healthy, neutral pH environment. But when we eat or drink things that are acidic, the pH drops and then the length of time that that pH is low, that creates the environment where you can get a cavity. How does acid make that cavity? The enamel on your teeth is the hardest substance in your body, right? And the reason it's so hard and resistant to decay and wear is because there are chemicals in your enamel that help to make it hard. The problem is that on a microscopic level, when the pH drops, those hard minerals that are in your enamel, they leach out of the enamel and create a softer enamel more prone to decay. Now, if immediately the pH jumps back up to normal, that mineral will get reincorporated into your enamel and no harm done. But if you're somebody who sips a little all day long or you know, you're know you sucking on candy, every hour you're doing that, your pH stays low and the longer that happens the more prone you're going to be to getting a cavity. I have kids as a dentist I know it's unreasonable probably to expect your children to drink just water 100% of the time but there are some things that you can do to limit the effect of that acidic environment. One of those is drinking some water so if my kids you know have a candy bar or whatever it is then the recommendation is drink some water after. That's gonna help bring that pH back up to a healthy level and you're not gonna go a long time with that low pH. The other thing that helps bring the pH back to normal is just your natural saliva. So saliva plays a part in two ways in keeping your teeth healthy. So the amount of saliva you produce is good and helpful. And then also kind of the chemical makeup of your saliva, which is something you don't really have any control over, but that chemical makeup of saliva helps buffer the pH and bring it back to a normal level. The thing to remember is keep the sugar consumption at, to a minimum as much as possible, spread it out, you know, add some other things. If you're gonna drink something like this and you don't have any water, if you can eat something 
that you know helps bring the pH back to normal. You know, the longer period of time that you're out there with a low pH, that's going to cause cavities. It's having a healthy pH, getting it up to normal, lots of water if you can, spreading out the sugar consumption, that's going to help you have a healthy, happy smile.